Usyk, you're next, little bitch. You're next. You are next. Me and you, soccer, next. Me and you. You're getting it, little soccer. Rabbit. Pussy. Look at it. 15 stone little midget beat a bodybuilder. Well, I ain't a bodybuilder, soccer. I'm going to write you off. I already done one Ukrainian Klitschko dinner, and I'll do you as well, Gappy Teeth. You ugly little man. You ugly little man. Let's get it on, kids. Let's get it on you as well. You may laugh now, but I will end this little sucker. End you. End you. End you. Hello, Usek, you little sucker. What are you going to do? You're going to do something. Are you going to do something? You're going to do fuck all. You're going to do fuck all, you little sausage. I'll, I'll jump in a bit as well, Tyson. Right. We'll have it. Why don't I three do a Royal Rumble then? Go. Come on. Come on. Big Joe Joyce is here. And Big Joe Joyce is a warrior. I tell you what, Joe, I'm the only one who calls your name out. Everybody else is scared of you. Yes. So if this little rabbit don't want it, it can't be me. Let's me and you, my brother, do Wembley. Let's go. Come on, Joe Joyce! Come on, Joe! Apologies for the uh, language there. Let me just quickly get a word with Frank Warren. Frank, you've heard it from the man. What are we likely to see next February and March from Tyson? Well, the last undisputed heavyweight champion of the world was Lennox Lewis. The fans surely want to see you fight for the next undisputed since Lennox Lewis. How do you feel about that? Oh, I can't wait. You know, all these big fights have evaded for so long, but they can't run away anymore. They can run, but they can't hide. And finally, two stadium fights this year. Your British fans have braved the cold to be here tonight to see you in person. Are there any last words you'd like to say to them? Again, I want to thank every person who came out tonight. We made history here tonight. Frank Warren told me we're the first people in history to do a stadium fight in December. Come on! Congratulations. Tyson, congratulations. That was a tough guy you beat up. Were you surprised that he stood through that? Derek's always been a tough boy. Um, he comes to fight, that's why his name's Water's Aura. There was no way that he was going to stop himself. The referee had to pull him out where he was going to get knocked out. And I'm glad, that, I'm glad he went out like he did because he's a definite, uh, uh, he's a greater British boxing. And he's been a pleasure to fight over the years. Look at the balls on the man, excuse me, French. A 38-year-old, look at the effort he put up tonight. It's a fine effort. Usyk came up to the ring. He got a little piece of him verbally. Then Joyce came up. Who do you want next? I want Alexander Usyk next. Or if that fight can't be made, I want Joe Joyce. Do you expect that fight to be made February, March, like the Usyk side has said? i got to do some stuff. Um, I've got some uh, hand problems. And I got to maybe have some surgery on my elbow, but after that, I'm, I'm ready for anybody. Would you like it to be here in England, in the UK, or Saudi? Do you have a? Um, listen, I'm very, very open and easy, open and easy to wherever these fights are going to be. Um, me and Sugar have worked hard and long for this fight. Um, we didn't underestimate Derek Chisora. We put it in, and, and we got the result tonight. And you know what? We're going to go back to the gym and on to the next one, uh, March, April, whenever it's going to be. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Tell me exactly what's wrong with the hand and what's with the elbow, because this is all news for us. You look pretty healthy. Yeah, um, I, I sort of like fucked my hands up tonight on Derek's big head. It's solid as a brick. And I, I've got like some elbow problems that I got to maybe have surgery on my right elbow. Both on the right? Uh, just on the right on. I had the left done back in October after the Wilder 3 fight. So I've got to have it done. It'll, it'll take about six to eight weeks to heal. Do you want to? stay home do you want to i mean if you have to go get surgery how are you going to be ready february march we'll see like i say we'll see when we'll be ready for this fight we'll see when it can be made 
What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about Derek Tesori tonight? And I know Derek's a warrior and I'm a warrior, but they don't build like us anymore. We've had three fights together, three tough fights over the years, and like I say, Chisora gave Usak a very good fight. Usak gave Chis uh, Joshua a, a beating twice. So you know, styles make fights, and it's going to be a, it's going to be interesting to see the the clash of styles in the boxing ring. How do you see that going down, you and Usak? I just think I can beat anybody. There's no stopping me. I'm on a roll. I just got a good ten rounds in tonight. I'm going to be match fit going into the next fight. Can't wait. He's a I'm just going to keep knocking him out. Stoppage win four in a row now under Sugar Hill, and he just keeps going and going and going. He said to me in round 10 there, was it round 10 when it finished? He said, right, get him out of here now. Let's turn it up. And we, we started uh, turning the pressure upon him, hitting him at will, basically, there in the end. And uh, the referee done his job. Sugar, you train people only for knockouts. Are you expecting a knockout against a guy he derides as a middleweight? Absolutely. Um... The style is the style is the crunk style. It's, it's going in and get the knockouts. Emmanuel always told me, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. The best way to get to make sure you definitely get that win is by a knockout. So I'm programmed on training for knockouts. Tyson, do you knock out the so-called middleweight Alexander Usyk? Yeah, I've knocked them all out. Listen, I'm on a real roll. I'm 34 now. Um, I just got a good 10 rounds in. Match fit. No excuses. Ready to rock and roll. Let's get it on. Anybody. Whoever's next will get knocked out as well. I'm assuming it's going to be Usyk I'm holding. Well, whoever it's going to be is going to get chinned. Who's tougher? I'm not a mind reader. I can't see the future. But whoever's my opponent next will have the same treatment as the rest of them. Who's tougher, Usyk or Joyce? I think Joe Joyce is the tougher man. Usyk's got better boxing skill. Joe's a big ma monster of a man. Strong, big juggernaut. And Usyk's a master boxer. So, yeah. Shug, anything? Nope, he said it all. Tyson, we've got a lot of people in the States. What do you want them to know? Big shout out to everybody who tuned in tonight on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, I miss you guys. Uh, let me get through Usyk and be back to Las Vegas to do the Wilder 4. Come on! Wilder 4! Wilder 4. Maybe at the, uh, the Legion Stadium there, 70 or 80,000. Just look at this. It's unbelievable. I've sold 189,000 tickets this year. In, in boxing events and dinner shows. So it's unbelievable the support I have here in the UK. I want to thank everybody. It's made my career absolutely fantastic. And like Frank singing, I've done it my way. I haven't followed any rules. I've done everything back to front and upside down, but it's worked out in the end. Did you see this happening ever, really, when you were down? Listen, when I was down, I didn't see a way out. I thought I was going to end up in a padded room. I was 410 pounds. And I just wanted, I wanted to die basically every single day. But now I know that there will be sunshine and rainbows again. Whenever you're down, anyone feeling down and out, just look at me, I was 410 pounds, out the ring for three years. Suicide attempts, drinking, taking drugs, I was finished. And now look at me, I'm back on top of the world, ruling the division with an iron fist. It's fantastic, God is great. Champ, thank you very much. Thank you guys. That was a